Welcome collectors, Kyle the Collector here going over all things collectible, but today I am talking about Jack Kirby, the king of comics. So born Jack Kurtzberg and passed away in 1994, he was no doubt the most important comic book artist of all time and always will be. He basically created what we think of as comics now, so he incorporated Norse mythology um, with like Odin and Thor, and he did gods and angels with Galactus and Silver Surfer, who was his herald. Uh, he visualized basically a whole universe in his mind. Uh, he also created the Kirby Crackle, which are these little circles, and used Mayan imagery into his characters. But eventually Jack left Marvel for DC and did the New Gods. He is known for that, but he's mostly known for all that he did with Marvel. Before his death, he would attend Comic Cons and sign autographs. But not many of these autographs go for sale nowadays. Uh, at Sometimes he would bump into Stan Lee and they would be friendly. Uh, he lived in California in his later years with his wife and his ch many children. Uh, his wife always thought he deserved more credit, which was true. But in some of his last interviews, he basically said Stan Lee contributed nothing to the comics they collaborated on. And he even took credit for creating Spider-Man. Um, now, Steve Ditko, of course, created Spider-Man with Stan Lee. And his first cover was not used and they did use Jack Kirby's cover which is super iconic. Jack Kirby when asked to create a Spider-Man it looked more like like a Captain America uh, but of course Steve Ditko nailed that and that's what Stanley went with um, but Jack Kirby of course did all the Avengers basically he is the legend the king and he will be missed 